What's good, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your boy, H.E. Mafia. So, guys, we reacted to the Llama Arts video of the reaction. It's called School Lockdown Stories 2 Animated. So, guys, this reaction video is going to be linked down below. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe. So, guys, there's some lockdown stuff going on. And this one is just so weird. It's just getting me crazy. And, um, I should have added on playlist another playlist of, like, H.E. Mafia reaction. A lot of my arts, lot like school lockdown stories. So you know, y'all put that there. So you know, I, I should have put that there. I should have did one and two because when I did the other one, on that one, I don't have no idea what, what I did. All right, guys, subscription below is AJ Mafia. Be subscribed, comment, thumbs up, turn notifications on, subscribe to this channel, go social media, share the link down below. You guys like, comment, subscribe. So anyway, anyway about what the video I'm doing. I should do the video tomorrow and later and Friday and I'm gonna be on live because you know last time I didn't be on live. Alright, let's get the video started. Hey gang gang, let's get it, let's go. I'm twenty two years old, fresh out of college, and I recently got a job at my old high school as a sort of computer engineer. Why would you in work there basement. anyway? That's the wacky job of the school is very messy and disorganized. That's weak. But there is a small three person office that's actually very nice down there. It has three nice big desks, two mini fridges, a flat screen TV mounted on the wall, and oh so satisfying air conditioning, a luxury the students and teachers cannot enjoy in the school. And of course, all the school servers and other computery stuff. I got the job because three of my old computer teachers flat out adored me. I could actually consider them as real friends, not just teacher figures. So they all helped oh, tremendously wow, in landing me this job. It's been great. Until something that happened a few weeks ago. My two co-workers that shared the office with me, <gasps> Dave and Gary, weren't in the office at the time. They were upstairs working on papers or whatever. I was eating my sandwich during my lunch break when I got a phone call from one of the women in the front office telling me the school was on lockdown and that oh, somebody so possibly armed had entered the school. There wasn't much lockdown. that I could do other than turn off the lights because, surprisingly, as nice as this little office was, it didn't have an actual door to it. No just door? A big Bro, I was the weak. The basement didn't even have a working lock. For my own safety, I did turn off all the lights in the office and my computer screen. I kept my phone on the desk, texting both Gary and Dave, but they wouldn't respond. I sat down there in the dark, playing games on my phone for like 20 minutes, I ran out of battery. waiting for the call from up front to tell me to resume working. I had no idea what was happening. I couldn't hear what was going on upstairs from down here. But I was not allowed mm. to make any calls until I was informed that the lockdown was over. Then, the noisy basement door opened. As the creaking oh. echoed across the basement and into my office, I sat up from my seat, wondering if I should call out Gary or Dave. I was eager what to they get some do info from them. Someone then came running down the stairs, and their footsteps were approaching my office. I pushed away my chair and crawled Oh, so now that would be dangerous. Somebody entered the office, but did not turn on the lights. There was just silence. I can't even describe the fear I was experiencing. I felt like if I made one sudden noise, I'd be a dead man. Suddenly, my phone dinged as I got a text message. Bruh! I, I would've put it on silence, man! That Yo, that's message. whack, like bruh! Why would you just... Fear. Footsteps Yo! Closer to me until idiot. I finally dove out from under the desk in capitulation, begging whoever it was not to kill me. And just then, Someone grabbed my arm and pulled me up. It was some guy in a red plaid button-up jeans he looked and a reddish black cap. He told me, it's okay, I'm just down here hiding with you. What's going on up there? I whispered to him. He kind of ignored my question and asked me if there's an exit down here. Why would you ignore his question? Him, yeah, around that way. Before he could do anything else, I asked him, who are you? There was a brief moment of silence. Before he started explaining, he was coming in to pick up his son when a teacher told him to hide. After his explanation, I checked my phone Ooh. 
and saw the text I what received a? was from Dave. It said, what was the feature, bro? Dude, this is fucking crazy. Some guy with a gun shot Mr. Buckley. He's wearing a red shirt. Yo! Whatever you do, don't come upstairs. Oh, I he's looking right at him. text out loud to Zan until I realized. I looked up and felt my stomach sink. The man seemed to catch on to my oh, suspicious he... stare. Oh, he's staring at you, bro. Yeah, boy, you better run. Was to run, for the run, man, run! A gunshot echoed through the basement, and I could hear the bullet ricochet off something metal in the darkness. Oh! But thank God the bullet missed me, and oh, I made it upstairs. Oh, God, finally. Fortunately, police were waiting at all yeah, exits, got including him. the basement exit, and caught the man the second he opened the door. More good news. Our teacher, Mr. Buckley, survived the gunshot. Mr. Buckley, man. It was later determined that the man and Mr. Buckley had some beef for whatever reason, but that was never revealed. All we know is that Mr. Buckley couldn't have done anything that would have warranted man, this that kind man of dangerous, reaction. Man. I can't believe he's just gonna bring and him out. I know that the sound of that gunshot will forever echo in my mind. Whoa! He just pointed a gun in his head. Alright guys, shout out to Lama Art. Yeah, man, it is crazy when he did that. Like, really. That was so weird. He absolutely put a... He could have turned his phone off or put on vibration, like... Would just turn the... Put the light light down so, you know, you don't... He don't see it. And suddenly, soon he had a phone call about Mr. Buckley or whatever his name is. And, oh, uh, and that, that dude he beefed with... One wearing red, wear a hat, red hat, and a red shirt or whatever, sweater or whatever I call it. So anyway, that was strange. Soon he looked at him, he like, oh, I know what you're talking about. It's him. That's him. He's trying to kill me. So and he just finally that he got he almost got shot, but he almost, but he missed, and he ran to escape. Finally, if I was working at that job right there, I'm like, no, I'm not working that job. I ain't getting killed or something. That's something could be. Sick and dangerous. That's like really, man. They finally the cops got him. God, I got scared a little bit. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm gonna shut this camera off from all little distraction video description below. Say AJ Mafia. If you subscribe, comment, and thumbs up, turn on notifications. Don't subscribe to the channel. For social media, check on link down below. Subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. So guys, think about. Tell me what in the comment section. Tell me about about what you react towards um the video. So you know, I'll let you know that. So you know, guys, let me know. Comment me down below what you what you think about this video. Is it kind of weird or whatever, or is it kind of like uh, well, it's kind of dangerous. All right, guys, you have a good time. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.